how it remains on it. That's how it will remain. That's an unusual project that's involving a corporation, the state, and an organization known as the Nature Conservancy. Got it. But of all the deals the Conservancy has been involved in, it was the big bend that made headlines. See if we can sneak in one flag at least. The reason is the property is Bobby's doing all right. Bobby's doing pretty good. Seems to be. Maybe just a tiny fraction of the land that makes up the state seashore, but it's prime real estate. And if it hadn't been saved, it's quite possible that progress would have destroyed what ironically developers are calling Florida's last frontier. The and other people been trying to stop the They say, hey, wait a minute. We can live here and we will alone. We don't have to change it in order to enjoy it. Time to make some changes aboard the driftwood. Moss Kramer's stint was up and he'd be leaving the boat. Gotta meet some fascinating people. So there's a lot of those little things that made my trip down here very enjoyable. Moss was replaced by John Boyesky from Indiana State University. And it was great that my first story I heard of him dying with manatees. 
Oh yeah, Bobby, run it in. Ha <laughs> ha. Bobby's going to turn the flag in. Oh yeah, Bobby, you go, you go. Nice job. Nice job. Ha <laughs> ha, that was awesome, Bob. It on video too, buddy. Yeah, we owned that one for sure. Hey, why don't you come in tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah, he said I'd come in tomorrow. Like I said, I could have went in tonight if I wanted to. Sell some stuff. Had Josh on here too. Ha <laughs> ha. Light off for you, Mama. Yeah, I don't really like to play. I do not see a single man without a big star. It's like a or something like that. He walks away all over his back. Dr. White told us that that's the only thing that's going on. Tomorrow? 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 T
and it could be pollution. It's just their habitat being right. destroyed. Okay. One way or another, development is the problem. It's altering the landscape, the character of this part of Florida, and the fate of much of its wildlife. Right now, the extinction of the manatee seems to be sort of inevitable, oh, yeah, yeah. unless something is done really quick. And by really quick, I mean in the next few years. Eventually, Jesse White would like to see sanctuaries for the animals. So he's approached the local tourist attraction called Weezy Watchers to help him. They uh, have sort of underwater ballet where these women dress up as mermaids and swim around in the water and they have tails. It's not the reason Dr. White chose the Weezy Watchers for his manatees, but there is a connection. I guess there's a, there's a myth that uh, Columbus came to the New World and saw a uh, manatee and, and thought it was a mermaid. Of course, you have to be at sea a long time when you've got these biting out of the so I was in the bathroom. Yeah. But I, uh, I think so. <laughs> the real reason that what he appeals to Jesse is a river that runs through the province. The ideal thing would be to fence all the river and make this preserve manatee. He wants to bring in there as a sort of hospital sanctuary for the manatees, which have been hit by crops from boats. Jesse White won't speculate on whether the manatee will survive, but he knows what it will mean if they don't. They're sort of sitting up on the top of their food chain, so to speak, and it's the barometer of our environment health. Uh, when the manatee goes away, as the top of the food chain, man's not far away. Jesse White told the Driftwood crew about a place they should see before they moved on, Rainbow Spring. He called it his Garden of Eden, and you know he said it would be the most beautiful spot in Florida. Yeah. And we got up there, and in my opinion, he was right. Of the turn of the century. 
the Greeks were sponge divers, and the reason to bring these people over was to expand the industry here in the United States. And it became a multi-million dollar industry in the uh, 30s to the 40s. George's father owned the sponge boat. So the first job I had was to go down below on the boat and clean the business. So at 14 years old, I put on the first diving suit. I can remember it like it was yesterday. I uh, felt real brave, real macho and everything, but as soon as they snapped the helmet on, I had second thought. That's because it was dangerous work and still is. The best sponges are found in deep water. And the currents off the, the coast of, of Southern Springs are not easy. Uh, the currents come in and they could have a, a force that could just pick you up and, and carry you. Yeah, Mama. You're hot? No, I'm just sleeping better with the A diver may be down there as long as six hours. See the bones where the people take. Yeah. Oh, I know what you mean. Price is finding such that uh it's a tremendous amount of money to be made out there. We have four lives. When the good look crew was in Parkland Springs, a single sponge yeah. was selling for as much as ten dollars. But the price was changed from week to week, depending entirely on demand. And these days there's a huge market for the Tarpon Springs product. Yeah. The Mediterranean has been hit by a blight. You are bidding on seven lines, a hundred and sixty-three feet. Carbon Springs merchants experienced a similar blight here in the 1960s. The industry was virtually wiped out. The town survived by selling the only other thing it had that people wanted. It's Greek therapy. The main street, the main drag is very good. They want to go to uh, our Greek shop and buy uh, whatever kind of Greek paraphernalia they've been buying. And they want to see how the sponge divers get it in the old days. They only one of the companies that have the sponge divers. It's part of their life, and I, they, I think they've accepted that practice, and they told us that it's here very long. I forgot to fucking do something before I logged off. Why? Right. Yeah. I thought you talked but I had no idea. I couldn't understand. You say you forgot to do something before you logged off. Any 
anybody happens to go back there in that laundry room and mm -hmm. use the washer or anything, the clothes on top of the washer are clean. I just said them there. I didn't have that to bring nothing to take them back over the house. Yeah, I made all that shit for it, or, well, I made that, them gloves for you. Mm -hmm. I just learned how to make them just right before I get them done. They're not anything that Yeah, I love them, yeah. A lot better than what I fucking had. I like the damn but shoulders, I actually, too. I kind of, I kind of like the other ones. They're called Fletcher's gloves. They're for level 20, though. But they give you, the only thing that they get, they don't give you any other stats other than 14 on your critical hit. So it increases your critical hit by 14. Yeah. So it says like your critical hits 10%. You're at 10 already. Your critical percent chance is going to be a quarter a quarter of 100. So one out of four times you're going to fucking hit a crit. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then that game, the way that game goes, chances are you're going to almost hit one every, every two hits. So then again, you never know, you might not fucking ever hit anything like that. Who kicked ass though, didn't you? Oh, yeah. That one that me and Josh did the full weight and I invited you back? Yeah. I returned to the last two flags. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We were fucking dominating. They were just fucking out there killing them in the graveyard. Dude, when I dropped that one flag, you picked it up real fast. <laughs> fucking. I tried to run, but you I had didn't have five my... motherfuckers on you. I didn't have my sprint yet. <clears throat> so there's five guys like nipping at your knee. I hit my evasion. Increases my dodge chance by 50%. So half of all the attacks that hit me, I dodge them. Yeah. So for all the attacks. That they throw only 50% of them actually hit me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I just got banished too. Yeah. You know what that does at the combat stealth? You, when you, you know how you can't stealth if you're in combat? Mm -hmm. Well, if I hit that, I go, I go into stealth, into an advanced stealth state to where I can walk, literally walk through people and they can't even see me. Oh, yeah. You know how usually they walk right up to you or, or close to you, you can see them? They won't be able to do it for 10 seconds. They can't see you. And you, you're back in stealth. Yeah. Permanently. So I can fucking pop up and do doof doof vanish. And then fucking come right back at them and hit them again with all my fucking stealth abilities. Because all my stealth abilities are um, energy free. Yeah. Don't, they don't cost energy. So my ambush, it's a, I'll, I'll probably hit them with the ambush first. Mm-hmm. Or I don't know. I, I might, it might be best to hit him with the Garrett because that'll do 300 and some damage over like 15 seconds or something like that. So hit that and then spam all my shit, vanish, and then come back and hit him with the ambush. Yeah. I'm trying to wait again. Uh, hit him with the bam, bam, bam. But you kind of get way to get energy. Or stamina to rebuild, but from the way I'm seeing so far, I think on my like crafting your own gear is definitely the best way to have the best gear of your level all the time. Yeah, I think it is because all the gear I've been crafting right now is fucking blue. Really? Other than the pants and the shoes. Yeah, but I'm getting ready to get blue down. I'm just in leather right now, ain't I? Yeah. I might be able to find something at level 20. Did I mail yeah. you Did I mail you something? Or is that from the auction house? From the auction house. Try to call. Anything would be better than nothing. <clears throat> Was you up there waiting for the flag to spawn? Yeah. That time I grabbed when yeah, I Yeah, where there. the hell was you at? I was coming up the ramp. Oh, right? okay. I was coming into their flag room as they turned it in. When they turned it in, I come up into the flag room on that little ramp there and went around that one room. And right when I got to the flag, it spawned back. 
Oh. And then I, I grabbed it and took off, and I seen you jump right forward. <laughs> I was like, I because I, I seen you on the map, and I, I, I checked to see if it was you. I put my mouth over it. Yeah. And it, it was you. I said, watch that motherfucker's up there waiting for him to turn that motherfucker in. He's going to grab it. He thinks he's going to grab it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, you jumped in out of nowhere, and bam. I was like, where the fuck is that? Hey. Well, at least it was you, but I just followed with you. Rogues. What are you looking for, head? Yeah. You need leather. I know, I ain't got nothing in there. They don't have no leather? No, nah, nothing. Head pieces for 20. Not one of the leather ones. You just click, go right there. Yeah. What level are you? Highest level or what? 20. Do Wait, 24. no. I'm... Do 24. No, do 25. 22. No, do 25. It'll show. It'll show. There, they don't have nothing in there. Damn, that sucks. Well, I think I bought about everything I can buy. <coughs> Did you put? Yeah, you put. Yeah, I like my shoulders. Makes me look a little meaner. <laughs> don't look so squishy with shoulders on there. Yeah, man. The characters look real fucking squishy. Oh yeah, I bought some armor kits. I forgot about that. Hey, let me do something for you real quick. I'll help you out a little bit. Hold on. Shows your health. Oh, okay, cool. I'll help you out. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Just probably waiting for you guys to go. How much honor know. point? How much honor points you got? No. Two thousand or something. I bought the trinket when I first when I was able able to, mm -hmm. and then right after I bought the trinket. What trinket? Oh, Signet of the Horde. Yeah, yeah. And um, then I bought the the Scouts Tabard. I yeah, one of the Tabard that way. But yeah, let me see what all gear you got. What all gear? Oh, you have rings. I don't even have no fucking rings. Mm -hmm. I forgot all about rings. Forgot all and a necklace. I forgot yeah. about the necklaces. I'm missing on stats, bro. I forgot about a trinket. I'm uh, uh, I'm missing out on a lot of shit. Dude. I'm playing with one hand shit right now. Hey, so it helps you out, don't it? Yeah. What's that bottom one? The trinket, right? So two rings and a necklace is what I'm missing. That's fucked. I forgot about a trinket. Usually you get them from quest, but I ain't got no rings from any quest. Yeah. Yeah, or whenever I get on it, we'll see what I can make now. I think it's only one thing. Oh, yeah. I think it's what it's saying. We'll have some blue paint. We got blue. We got what? Blue gloves. Blue testing, right? Uh, no, just all got. Um, you still have blue gloves and blue testing. Mm -hmm. You don't have the testing. I got a blue gloves. No, the only thing, last thing you gave me was the dark leather tonic. Medium hide. All right, I got some leather scraps to give you, too. Good night, bub. Yeah. 